Hey, this is Jeff with Phantom Teardrops. Just uh, wanted to show you this camper. My wife, she's uh, back behind the camera. Hello, guys. And uh, we just wanted to show you guys uh, this uh, beautiful camper we just uh, got done doing. So we're going to start up here with a removable hitch. Jeff is going to show you how easy that is to remove. Just to remove that. And we did that so that you can uh, remove it if you need to go hiking and you're not going to be, you know, back for a while or if you need to run to get provisions or anything like that. You can just remove that, put it in your car and lock it up and that deters, your, you know, anyone from stealing your camper. And then we have, this one happens to be the solar panel uh, battery that we offer. It's the Renogy, um, and it's a MPPT. Yes, and uh, it's got the uh, 100 amp hours battery. Uh, it's got your cutoffs for the, the camper here. If you're like in storage or something and want to turn off all the power, uh, you can do that. Mm -hmm. And on this side here, it uh, runs your solar panel so if you turn this off or on it's going to throw juice to the solar panel and let it uh, charge your battery and then uh, you got your double uh, wheel jack the front here's got the uh, expanded metal uh, storage area for you know like for uh, storage you know your firewood and and it, it's a pretty big space if you want to add a box for, you know, storage to, to store your, you know, hoses, um, wheel chocks, anything like that. So. And all the campers has the uh, LED marker lights, uh, tail lights too. So and it's got your uh, porch lights on each side of the camper. And that's um, LED as well. All of the lights that we use on our campers will be LED. It's got the, uh, the vents on each side for uh, ventilation. And that's really important for such, you know, small campers. You really need uh, good ventilation. Here we've uh, put a uh, stamp so where, uh, where you can get up to the roof rack and everything right and our fenders are aluminum fenders because we try to keep the weight down as much as possible um, on our trailers um, so I wouldn't step on those but you can step oh, on you step on this that's steel so you can step on that you know and it's not gonna hurt it and here is the uh, the hot water heater it's in a pelican box and two, if you uh, got your shower and everything. And what a lot of people do is they either um, get one of those tents that you know goes right there. So if you want to take a shower, you have some privacy. So, you, um, and also if you have a rooftop tent, which you know we don't have on this one, but if you have a rooftop tent, they have enclosures that go on the bottom of that tent that you can also um, use as well. It gives you more privacy. And I'm going to let Jeff go over the um, windows here. Yeah, it comes yeah. with uh, the windows. You can just raise it up, like if you wanted a cool breeze blowing. Right, and they do have screens so it's in It's got screens, them. and you can uh, raise and lower your screens, too. So if you don't get a uh, an AC unit, or if you just choose not to use it, if it's, you know, warm but not that warm, you can also just turn on your fan and open both of your windows on this side and the other side and it will pull through a lot of air and to both doors has your uh, dead boat so like if you're inside and uh... mm -hmm. and the off-road wheels yeah. off-road wheels 235 75 15 uh, 8 inch wide wheels And that is your where you hook up to shore power. We also have a 110 adapter that goes with that in case you're at a campground that has a 110 or if you're at home and you want to charge your battery um, from your regular outlet, you can do that as well. This here's got your uh, 10, 10 gallon water tank underneath. 
And then if you're at a campground and need to use a city water, or you, it's where you hook your uh, water hose up to it. And then uh, this here, uh, this is for your gray water, this here. And for that, we uh, typically just get those blue jugs and just kind of put right there for it to drain into. And then you can just take the jug and, and dump that at your gray water dump station or whenever you get back home. Depends. If you're boondocking, you probably don't have a dump station. But um, you can always take that back home and dump it there. And then uh, you got your solar panel. And if... Uh, and if you're in a shade like today and if you need to, to, to move it or anything, you just unhook it here. And two, it's got uh, legs. And we really like this solar panel. It's uh, Lightleaf Solar is who makes this panel for us and it's custom fit to the, the curvature of our camper. So it fits really nicely and it's very convenient when you're traveling. And it is a 150 watt solar panel. Back up. Yep. Very easy to put back on. And then the sides, uh, we put a uh, stainless steel draw latches. Right, and that is just to give um, the galley hatch a superior seal. I mean, it just seals it up really nice and keeps the water out. And the galley, um, this one happens to have the stainless steel countertop option. Um, if you don't want to go with that option, we normally put Formica countertops in here, but uh, we kind of like the look of the stainless steel. It's got plenty of storage. This is the uh, power box. Um, this is all your 110. This is your battery, the side. And when you got it plugged up, like you said earlier, it, it charges your battery too, so. so. that's very convenient to get to. And also, I do wanna mention that up here is a little bit of storage. Yeah. We have had a couple of customers ask us if we could put like a little um, strip up there so they can put their spices and things like that and we can definitely do that that's no problem at all and then uh, this one here is the premium model it comes standard with the slide out stove uh, drawer and the slide out uh, cooler drawer and all of it's all uh, soft close slides Then here is the uh, the water pump. You know. So you would just turn that on before you turn your water on. If you're using your 10 gallon um, water tank, if you're hooked up to city water, you do not have to turn that on. Right. And then all the plumbing is uh, for the water is PEX, just like your house. And then the, the drop cord. Cooler drawer. drawer. It comes with a cover and everything. And this is the ISCO JP40. Um, will you take that out so they can see how big it is yeah. on the inside? So you have plenty of room there. You have two compartments and then a basket. A basket. And then it locks for travel. here where we have the detachable table that we offer. Um, I'll let Jeff go around and show you how easy that is yeah, to take just, off and put on. You just raise it up and uh, just fold the leg down and just store it on the inside of the camper when you're moving down the road. And then we attached our leg to the trailer um, for the simple purpose of, you know, once you get your 
trailer level and everything your table is going to be level that way you don't have to worry about leveling your trailer and then leveling your table so that works out very well and then you have a 110 uh, power outlet right. you have another um, vent on this side and then, and then the awning right this happens to be the smitty built awning um, we do offer you know the arb as well or any awning that you'd like to to use any brand we can do that as well All right, on the inside here we have a four inch memory foam mattress that folds up into a sofa and jeff's going to show you how easy that is So if you are, if it's raining outside and you want to go inside and watch television, if you choose to have a television um, or watch your iPad, you can do that. And two, uh, we've made it where it slides up under the cabinets for storage and everything. Right, and that is just perfect. It fits just perfect, and you can kind of see that. Um, the flooring. Um, that we use is it's called a uh, composite textile flooring it is a kinetics brand it is very low profile um, and is kind of embossed so it's not actually carpet but like I said it's low profile easy to clean and if you spill something on this it's going to bead right up so that you can get to it um, in a timely manner So you got uh, storage underneath here. It's got right. your two outlets. It's got the USB ports, two USB ports, a cigarette lighter, and a voltage meter. So when you have that on, you can tell what your uh, your battery is. And then this one has the option for the slide out shelf drawer that has the dual cup holders. So if you do find yourself sitting in here watching TV as it rains, you can have a place to put your drinks. Plenty of storage in the cabinets. And here you have the solar panel controller. And the light switches is on the side for your the porch lights. And mm -hmm. And the switches for your lights, you have um, one on one side and one on the other, so um, that works out well, so you're not reaching over someone. You have a smoke detector and a carbon monoxide detector if you go with propane. If you have a propane tank, we do put those in there. And then uh, on each side of the camper, it's got the two reading lights. Right. And then... This is your standard um, fantastic fan. I think uh, Dometic actually um, has bought fantastic fan. I think you can see the sticker up there that says Dometic. But um, this is the standard. It's just a three speed. We do offer a, um, an upgrade that has 13 speed with a rain sensor. So if you're out hiking, and it starts to rain, it'll automatically close itself and everything. So um, we have the recessed lighting up top. If you can see that. And I think that's that's pretty much the walkthrough. So um, and two, if you uh, want to get on the website and uh, do a quote and stuff, just go to uh, phantomteardrops.com. And, uh, right, and you can do as many as you want, as many right. different variations as you want. And we'll be happy to get those to you as quickly as possible. And if you are close by, just give us a call and we can schedule you know, a visit so you can come check out our campers in person. Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you.